Hello and welcome back. Here's Sissy with some news about the Decafein development. I have here the new beta version of the Decafein and I'm going to show you some edit features. Today we will focus on virtual devices. On the left side, I have classic Windows computer with studio monitor running. On the right side, I have Raspberry Pi 400 with the Caffeine player. I will open the management interface, log in, and I'll go directly to streamer. I can see that there are no video devices found, but I have here one virtual device. It's called virtual text. So I will add that one. Okay, I will set the stream name and leave everything else as it is. I will just select the font, video format, let's say full HD at 25 frames per second and start the stream. Okay, streamer is running. So I'll go to the Windows computer. I have here the stream in studio monitor so I can open it. Okay, and this is stream. Of course, I can change the other parameters as well. So I can change the text to, for example, this is the caffeine. Change the horizontal position of the text. Double the font size. Change its color. Maybe also the background color, why not? And change font to something else. Start the stream again. Now you can see on the left monitor that we got a different output. But it would be boring to have only static text, right? So I can stop the streaming and let's see what's behind the virtual text stream control. Here I have URL I can use to dynamically change the text. So I will check my URL here on Raspberry Pi 400 and it says 10.0.0.69. Okay, so this will be the URL can replace it with real Raspberry IP address and call it using widget. Ah, it's working. So I can change dynamically the text content. I can use the commands like that also in a script. So for example the widget command I can call in a loop using for i index from 100 to 0 do okay sleep some time and done. And instead of text, this is dynamic, I will use text countdown. And I also have to add option, no HTTP keep alive. This will force the widget command to open a new connection every time. So let's look on the left screen. We have a countdown timer. So that's it. I don't know if anybody find it useful, but I will be adding hopefully more interesting uh, virtual devices into the future versions of the Decafein. Uh, you can download this beta version on the Decafein website. You will find the URL uh, below this video. So that's all and see you next time.